Hello, I am your colleague from HR function and I would like to take you through the leave management policy of our company. The purpose of this leave policy is to define entitlement and procedure for all employees working in the company. All employees will be entitled for 35 days general leave during the calendar year. It does not include week off days or intervening holidays falling in between the leave period. Let me give you the sequence in which I will cover the leave management policy. Let us deep dive into the details. Policy details. Employee can avail leave any time based on his or her entitlement and availability of balance leave to his or her credit. The leaves shall accrue on pro rata basis for the period worked. No leave shall accrue during period of unauthorized absence or leave without pay. Any leave over and above the pro rata entitlement will be considered as leave without pay. The company encourages the employee to take leave and rejuvenate, hence all employees have to compulsorily take minimum 10 working days leaves in a year. This leave could be taken as a stretch or at intervals. An employee can carry forward his accumulated his leave up to a maximum of 25 working days to the next year. The other 10 days need to compulsorily availed, failing which it will lapse automatically. A maximum of 90 days of leave can be accumulated at any point of time. Any leave in excess of 90 days will be encashed automatically and paid in the salary of January month every year. Encashment of leave shall be made subject to IT rules on the basis of last basic salary drawn and considering 22 days, 22 days attendance equals one month basic. In a month for calculation purposes, an employee can also voluntarily in cash leaves above 45 days of credit once in a year. Maternity leave. Maternity leave and related benefits will be granted to female employees as per Maternity Benefit Act and LSI Act of a person fall under this act. In the event of miscarriage, a female employee shall be granted leave for a period of six weeks immediately following the date of her miscarriage paternity leave. Applicable to all married employees on payroll of the company, and can be availed up to two childbirth. Paternity leave entitlements shall be five days at the time of childbirth, and all intervening weekly offs or holidays will not be counted for this purpose. Medical leave. In case of an employee encountered to a critical medical situation which requires complete bed rest and employee has already consumed his her all leave entitlements. In such case employee can apply for medical leave, which will be approved by functional head and CHRO. Medical leave can be availed for maximum 30 calendar days, including week offs and holidays. Employee will require to submit the prescription of doctor with leave application. Leave without pay. In general, employees are discouraged from taking leave over and above the specified entitlement. If under extenuating circumstances, leave is required and the specified entitlements are exhausted, the same would be treated as leave without pay, during which period the employee is not entitled to receive any salary. Compulsion of deduction will be on the basis of gross salary per month or number of days of that month. When an employee takes leave without pay, it needs to be specifically sanctioned by the immediate manager and function head. Any such leave which is not approved by the sanctioning authority will be treated as unauthorized absence. In such cases, company reserves the right to initiate the disciplinary action as it may deem fit. In cases, where employee has taken advance leave and resigned prior to completing the duration on the basis of which such leave is accrued, the same shall be recovered from employee's full and final statement of dues. Holidays. Each year in the month of December, HR function will notify the list of national and festival holidays for the subsequent year. The total number of holidays in a calendar year shall be 10. Employee can also avail one optional holiday from the holiday calendar which is over and above 10 holidays. General Guidance. For taking any leave the employee must take the prior approval from the reporting manager. 
it may be sanctioned, refused or postponed depending on the emergencies of work. In general, functional heads and their second-line managers may not overlap leave dates or proceed on leave at the same time. As a policy, employees are not expected to prefix or suffix any leave with an official tour unless specifically approved. All leave calculations shall be done on calendar year January to December basis and fraction greater than 0.5 shall be rounded off to next higher number and lesser than 0.5 to the previous number. An employee can send his or her leave encashment request through leave module in ERP for the leaves over and above 45 days. Deviations and Exceptions any deviations from this policy require approval from the CHRO. Management reserves the right to modify or terminate this policy without prior notice. Hope this was an informative session. In case of queries please get in touch with HR Help Desk. We will keep sending you similar sessions on other HR policies from time to time.